Thank you for coming. Guests, I'm Dr. Arve. Nice to meet you. I've been in this location for 24 years, helping people, having fun, and every workshop, every day, it literally gets better in here. So I'm excited. You're going to hear stuff today that no one else has heard for the first time. So we're glad to be here. All 10 million Facebook listeners and watchers, how you doing out there? Glad you're here. Uh, I tend to exaggerate a little bit. Okay, 5 million. Okay, very good. I'm glad you're watching. Uh, be ready to have your world rocked. So, the title is Spring Cleaning. Detox your body from the inside out. Why do you want to detox? It's like a popular thing about detoxing. Because we look at detoxing as a way as, of emptying chemicals, poisons, things that do not belong in your body, and get them out in a way that's safe, affordable, and effective. You can definitely detox the wrong way and make yourself very sick. And you can develop a lifestyle to where every day you detox. This is just the way you live has a detoxing uh, effect. And if you do that, you'll see an end to unnecessary suffering in your life. So raise your hand if you'd like to put an end to unnecessary suffering. Very good. It's like self-inflicted gun wounds. We don't want that anymore, okay? And if you would please follow us on our Spine Geek, Geek page in Facebook. Um, little every day except Saturday, uh, I do a two to three minute video. It's an encouragement for you. So some people say, I wish I could take you home with me, Dr. Joe. I'm like, well, talk to Mrs. Arve about that. Um, <laughs> but, but literally, it's, it's a two to three minute little video on our Spine Geek Facebook page every morning-ish to say, hey, don't forget, God loves you, we love you, get adjusted, eat some good food, take a nap, be good to yourself. It's your encouragement from today. And it's funny, the, the, the phone calls, or when I talk to my friends, like, oh, I love your videos, keep it up. How did you know I was going through that? Did you talk to my wife? So they're, very, they're short, I promise you they're short, but they're very powerful. So like us on our Spine Geek page, go to YouTube, where this video will be airing in a week or so, um, on our Spine Geek YouTube page as well. And then our website, Spine Geek as well. So, uh, if you're wondering, wondering, you just met me, who I am, um, what we do here maximizes your health. It maximizes your life. What I want to call the green grass zone. Everybody say green grass zone. Green grass zone. And you see that for the first time, and we're going to explain what that's all about, okay? Um, Rachel, come here for a second. And so, uh, because I've been to two Olympics, I've helped other people win gold medals. Go grab my garden hose. Um, these are some of the Olympic athletes that I was with in London, Mrs. Arve and I, and got to experience and help them and meet with them and help a few of them become green grass champions. This is my family here. I need to get a picture with Julie and Rachel in it now. But we're all about making them be healthy, right? And so what is it that I do on a daily basis for my wife, for my kids, for myself? We've been married 28 years. I'm 51 years old. I'm stronger and healthier now than I was when I was 21. So what is it that I'm doing to impart to you so that you can do the same thing? Okay, you can do the same thing. So it's all about making champions. And if you really want to know who you are, you're not just this physical fleshy body. There's really three parts to you that when I teach, when I doctor you, okay, that I want to tap into and help make stronger. There's the spiritual you, there's the emotional you, and there's the physical you. Many of your physical problems are because your spiritual you and your emotional you are injured. Many times you have spiritual issues where you just can't hear God, or you have emotional issues because you just you're 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 running around in fear because you have physical issues. But they're all three connected. And out there, you may be going to different places, different things to get your mind, your spirit, or your body improved or ministered to or helped or healed and what we do here which makes us successful is we work on all three at the same time we make it highly effective okay so we see all of you get healthy and so again why is that because the world's a little crazy would you say so and this is this is a scripture that i like it says god did not give me a spirit of fear and if you watch our videos i'm always talking about okay What's wrong here? Well, I'm afraid. Uh, that's not a good, effective emotion to have. I want, I, I'm not here to, to feed your fear and scare you about what's in our environment that could give you cancer, make you look old and wrinkly. That's not the point of today. My, day, my, my point of today is to remind you of who you are. Because again, the Bible says God did not give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of, of power and love and self-control. 
So everything I do on every visit you come in here and everything I speak, everything I put out is to feed your spirit, your mind, and your body to give you power, more power, yeah, more love, and more self-control. That's a natural side effect if we can shrink our fear and grow our love, our power, and therefore self-control takes care of itself. Sugar doesn't, you walk by a plate of cookies, it doesn't even call your name. You drive by your favorite coffee shop and you don't have to go get your cappuccino. Because we use food or we use things to help feed and make our emotions or our spirit fear feel better, and yet it just grows our fear. And again, be kind. Be kind. That's so important. You want to change your kids? Be kind to them. Be fair. Kindness leads to change. And again, when everybody walks in here, we don't know right now. Every, for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you may know nothing about. And I understand that as your doctor. How's everything? Fine. I'm like, no, it's not. But it's okay. I'll let you off today. I'll let you off today. Because I know. And you're like, how does he know that? I just know, right? Some of you, I said, put away the Easter candy. How do you know I still had some out? Well, you know. It's hurting you, right? But again, be kind. I want to build a culture of kindness in here. And when you go out to your, your world, be kind. You want to be effective? You want to be a light? You want to start detoxing and decluttering your life? Start with kindness. Start with kindness. Start with kindness. So, it's all about your perspective. Look at this picture for a minute. If you've done this before, don't raise your hand and give out the answers. But look at that picture. Okay? Now, you got it? You see what you see? Can you, do you see something? Good. Okay. Raise your hand and leave it up if you see an old lady. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk. Raise your hand and keep it up if you see an old lady. Okay, you see an old lady. Okay, put your hands down. Raise your hand if you see an old lady. Young lady. I'm sorry, a young lady. <laughs> wow. Now, wait a minute here. Same picture. And some of you saw an old lady. At first. At first. And then some of you saw a young lady. Some of you would sit here all day and argue, it's old. No, it's young. No, it's old. No, it's young. No, it's old. Because that's your perspective. So everything I want to teach you today is I want you to be aware that there might be another perspective. I'm not wrong. I see an old lady. You're not wrong. You see a young lady. What I want us to learn is to be able to see both. I want to teach you and try to impart hope and wisdom to you so that you see one but then as the communication goes on, you go, oh, I see both now. And now we're on the same page. That's called unity. That's called communication. And that's a whole marriage conference in itself. <laughs> but understand, when I talk about this, I've been doing this for literally over 30 years. I've been a chiropractor for 26 years. I have maybe a different perspective than you do with where you're living at. And I want to share with you a different perspective of what I see scientifically that's going on to help you see a broader perspective about your life to make it healthy, to make it better. Nothing I say here is to put you down, beat you up, make you feel wrong. It's about to say, no, there's so much more out there and I want to help you embrace that and live that. Does that make sense? Okay. So what do you see? What do I see? If your perception is causing you to stumble, it's time to throw it out. If you watch my video, I talk about pulling the log out of your own eye. What's that mean? That means there's a lot of things you can take responsibility for in your own life to make yourself healthy. There's, you don't have to keep looking around. You don't have to keep look, finding that, that magic book, tape, man, woman, or person to make you happy. There's a lot you can do to help you make yourself stronger. And so and the Bible says, take that plank out of your own eye so you can truly see the full perspective. So right now, how is your life working out for you? Is it going great? Cool. Let's keep it going. Is it good enough? Could it be better? Are you struggling? Are you stumbling? Are you stuck? And no matter what you try, you're not getting out. Fine. Let's not work harder. Let's just ask God to show us a new perspective, a new vision. 
You don't have to work any harder at life. Just let's just get better glasses or a better vision to see things with. So change my vision by upgrading my perception, by removing the interfering old perception. Stop beating yourself up. Stop saying mean things about yourself. Be kind first to yourself. Change that perception first. Well, everybody's mad at me. God doesn't like, no, that's the wrong perception. You are a child of the king. You are magnificent. We love you. You're worthy to take good care of yourself and be kind to yourself. That's, that's called a max mind adjustment. Removing that interference and false perception of yourself and upgrading to a green grass zone perception. So. I see a yellow cab. I see a yellow cab. Can't you see it? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Can't you see the yellow cab? Yeah. Don't look at that picture. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see a yellow cab? I swear there's a yellow cab there. I swear there is. I bet $100 there's a yellow cab there. What do you see? Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you see Statue of Liberty. You see the bridge. You see, you can see all kinds of things here, right? There's Statue of Liberty. And we could argue for 30 years how the, you see Statue of Liberty, I call you, you're crazy, I see a yellow cab. And we could yell, we could argue for all our lives and fight over it and not call one another and get divorced over it and just really be mad and grumpy at the whole world because all you see is yellow cabs and everybody else sees <coughs> um, Statues of Liberty. But what if we all just kind of look at the whole cup together? Oh, I see the Statue of Liberty now. And you see the yellow cab. It's all about your perception. If we get so down and so depressed that all there is a Statue of Liberties, or all there is to life is yellow cabs, we're missing everything God has for us. Because he's saying, you can have the whole thing. You're not just a yellow cab world life. You're not just a Statue of Liberty life. But how often do we hang on to our little thing and we refuse to see any way else? And the problem is that, <coughs> sorry, that perception is the door for you to walk in and to walk through to wholeness and healing. But you won't walk there because I am locked in or you're locked into your yellow cab world. Oh, there's healing there. There's breakthrough. All the things we promised, but we're unwilling to open our mind and perceive maybe, maybe <coughs> they see something different that I don't see. Maybe I have a blind spot that's inhibiting me from becoming the person God has me to be. And maybe I need to trust them to lead me to that door <coughs> so that I can be everything God called me to be. Make sense? To me it does. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but to me it made sense. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so I wanted to share. Sorry, Scott. I was wondering, Mrs. Arnie, how long this voice was going to last. So, it's your life, your story. On a scale of negative 10 to positive 10, where are you right now? I gave you that first page to look at. You can kind of circle where you are. Now, <coughs> I'm just trying to get out of pain. Good. That means you're at zero. Be out of pain, feeling fine, is simply not plus 10. <coughs> it's zero. Some of you are fighting just to get to zero. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of you are negative five. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of you are at negative nine or ten if you're watching. Or There's nothing wrong with that. But the question is, do you know where you are? You've got to know where you're at. If you don't know where you're at, or you're not willing to admit where you're at, if you're not willing to realize where you're at, or ask those who love you where you're at, okay, are you okay with it? I do a lot of work, and I'm not sure any of you, I shouldn't say this, how can I say this? Let me just answer the questions. So, my kids, I put a lot, in, I put a lot into them, right? And I want them to go this way. Well, here's the thing that I'm learning. I can't answer any questions they haven't asked yet. I can't give them an answer to a question they're not asking. <laughs> but I try to put a lot of energy into trying to tell them how to go, what to do, send them texts, oh, you need to watch this book, read this book, watch this video. And they're like, not interested. Nor am I ready for that answer because I haven't asked that question yet. Does that make sense? Yes. 
So why am I putting on this video? Or why am I putting on this workshop? Am I trying to give you answers that you should know that how toxins can be? Well, what if you don't care? That's fine right now if you don't care. That's okay. That's okay. I'm doing this because some of you do want to like to be somewhere different. But what I'm saying is that if you want to be a negative four, I'm going to come and just sit right next to you and I'm going to be a negative four with you. And it's just fine. We ain't got to go nowhere. <laughs> Let's just be a negative four together and I'm on your side. That's what that means. I'm not going to keep saying, come on, you need to be a positive 10. Come on, come on, there's something wrong. Nope, not anymore. Wherever you want to be, that's fine. If you want to stay there, that's your life, not mine. Now, when you're ready to take a step in the right direction, fine. And I will do my very best to keep you from going the other direction. But uh, where are you? Are you okay with where you are? Where would you like to be? Are you ready to commit to grow? Now, what you can't do is be a negative two and want the benefits of a positive 10. Oh, no, 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 no. Millennials, sorry. <laughs> well, I want mom's car. Sorry. You're not married to me. <laughs> you haven't busted your butt like your mom has and we have. When you're 39 years old like your mom, then you can have a car like her. You know what I'm saying? They want this. Oh, no, no, no. The only way to get this is to do, commit to doing what it takes and how to live to get there. And that's the point of today's workshop. I'm stuck. I don't want to stay here. I don't know what to do. I've been lied to. And I'm going the wrong way. How can I go the right way? Great. But if you want to, wherever you are, we're okay with that now. We're going to love you every day and not make you feel guilty for being anything less. Does that make sense? Is that okay? And then do you want my help? <laughs> what a brilliant question. No? Okay, good. Good to know that. I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop. You know what I mean? I mean, do you want my help? I'm like, well, of course you want my help. I've been to two Olympics. I've been to Africa twice. I've been successfully in practice for 26 years. Why would you not want my help? I have a man bun. Why would you not want my help? <laughs> I don't look 51. Of course, everybody wants my help. Newsflash. No, they don't. Because <laughs> they don't have the questions yet. So when they do, I'd rather stay in a relationship with you and help you where you want to be, right? Does this make sense, Jackie? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Okay. So where are you? Are you okay with where you're at? <laughs> where would you like to be? Are you ready to commit to grow? Do you want my help? I'm going to use this from now on in my doctoring to simply say, okay, where are you at and where we're going to go? And how do you know where you're at? We'll talk about that in a minute. So, what color is healthy grass? Green. green. Who made it that way? God. God. When grass is green, is grass at its full potential? Yes. Is it behaving the way God designed it to be? Yes. Is it making, when it's green and healthy, is it making brown grass? No. No. It, it, so green grass zone is where grass is supposed to be. If you take care of it, it's a natural process, right? Our bodies are the same way. We're made in God's image. We're made to be healthy. What well, you will hear me call now the green grass zone. I want to get you to the green grass zone. That's the positive 7, 8, 9, 10 zone. That's where you're living out God's plan for your life. You're living your full potential. Your body is making health. You're maximizing your health in life. Your body is not making disease. You're at your ideal weight. You're independently living on your own. You're living a life on purpose. You have no need for medication, shots, or surgery. And you live in peace, joy, and love thrives in this zone. Who would like to live there? And if you're not there, would you like my help getting there? Yes. Great. So I'm going to teach you today on things in your environment, in your world, that may be sabotaging that without you knowing it, right? But if you don't want to go there, that's fine. If you do want to go there and you know what you need to change, that's what today is all about. I'm committing. Now, what do I need to steps do I need to start making to get there, right? Now, if I kink on the garden hose, what happens to your grass? It dies. Does it die overnight, though? No. no, it goes through a process, right? So I kink the hose, and now the grass, in the beginning, 
When is your grass in trouble? The minute I kink the hose or the moment you notice the symptom of brown grass? When I kink the hose, right? So understand, if you're not focused on going to the green grass zone, you get a kink in the hose or your nerve system, your body's gonna start doing this. And one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna find yourself in the brown grass zone. That's not God's plan for your life. He's not mad at you. He's not punishing you. You're not supposed to be there. Something's wrong. Unfortunately, this is where most of America thinks is normal. Okay? So, it, the brown grass zone is now not God's plan for your life. You're limiting your potential. You're losing health. You're making disease. The pain won't go away. You're at an unhealthy weight. You're either hospital or nursing home living. You're underliving your life. You're not on purpose. You're on medications, getting shots, and having surgeries. All which are promising you this, but not delivering this. Does that make sense? You're in a green grass zone. Well, I'm going to show you at the end of the workshop, how do I know? Because it has nothing to do with diet or exercise or how many cosmetic products. It all has to do with your nerve system. That's the test that tells us which zone you're going towards. Are you going towards green grass zone or are you going away from it? So you can be a five-year-old child and feel no pain and yet be living in a brown grass zone. And if we don't know this and we don't recognize you and get you going in the right direction, then you'll see infertility, autism, ADHD, gut issues, headache, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, chronic pain, arthritis, depression, organ failure, obesity, thrives, is created when you're in this zone. So don't raise your hands, but some of you may feel like that's where I'm living right now and I don't know it. And the longer you stay there, then by default you go to the dead grass zone organ system failure and death thrives in this zone. Does that make sense so far? So everything I teach you today is about moving you here if you want to go there. But you can't stay here and expect to have that. There are specific steps, life choices, life changes you make every day that will move you this direction. There's objective testing that I can do, that I will do, that I do do with you, not do do, but I do do with you, <laughs> to make sure you are moving there. And it has nothing to do with how you feel. That can lie to you because you can be making all this and feel great, feel fine, and not know it until one day you go to the doctor and find out you have breast cancer, or you have a heart attack, or your child's flunking school. Okay? You can feel fine. So everything we teach about is moving you into this zone. So, every day, make life your what? What do I say in the videos? Make life your B-E-A-C-H. Make life your beach. Okay? Yeah, attitude, right? Every day is another chance to get stronger, to eat better, to live healthier, and to be the best version of you. That's what it's all about. If you wake up with that thought and that conscious awareness, then that means you're marching towards a green grass zone. Now, it don't really matter how fast you get there. You're just going that direction, and you get the promise delivered. So, let's watch this video, and then we'll keep going. Well, expectant moms go to great lengths to stay healthy and avoid anything that could possibly affect their unborn child. And that's why the results of a new study by the Environmental Working Group are really disturbing tonight. They tested 10 newborns and they discovered that every single child, every single one, was born with some 200 dangerous toxins in their blood. Now, our own medical reporter, Kathy Fowler, knows about this study quite well firsthand because you actually played a role in it. Yeah, I was actually one of the three adults who also gave blood for the study. According to an independent lab, hired by the Environmental Working Group, my blood contains 175 chemicals linked to cancer, 210 chemicals linked to heart disease, and 196 chemicals linked to birth defects. But that's not all. Toxic PCBs that were banned more than 30 years ago are also in my bloodstream. The most disturbing results, though, of this study revealed all 10 infants tested had almost as many chemicals in their blood as the adults. Before they take their first breath, scientists say newborns are being exposed to dangerous chemicals. The proof, according to the Environmental Working Group scientists, is in the umbilical cord blood. We found in these babies' blood an average of 204 industrial chemicals, pollutants, and pesticides, and that's at the moment of birth. Tests done on 10 newborn babies in hospitals across the U.S. found contaminants like mercury, pesticides, even fire-retardant chemicals 
vehicles used in TVs, mattresses, and computers. The newborn blood also contained the chemicals used to make Teflon cookware nonstick, fast food wrappers leak-proof, and children's clothing stain-resistant. Environmentalists believe these chemicals play a role in the increase of many health problems, like autism, obesity, asthma, leukemia, brain cancer, even birth defects and infertility. Most scientists agree because chemicals are a part of our environment, all adults will have some on their body. But some experts say the levels are too low to be of concern. Just because people have a measurable level of a chemical in their blood or urine doesn't mean that the dose will cause disease. I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't be worried. Lisa Toes Doherty became a vegetarian when she found out she was pregnant. She even grows some of her own food, all to reduce chemical exposure for her kids. So there's no proving harm. You don't know what your kids are being exposed to. Now, you can do some things to protect yourself. Reduce exposure to chemicals by eating less packaged food. Don't treat furniture and carpet to make them stain resistant. And avoid clothing made with fabric that repel stains. Now, the environmental groups say many of the changes, though, must come from the top and the government agencies that control car emissions, industrial power plants, and approve, on average, seven new chemicals for consumer use every single day. So, I mean, did the doctor say that you need to take this really seriously, all these chemicals in your body? Or is this sort of something that you can live with? Well, it depends on your point of view. But it, basically, we all have these amount of chemicals. What I do is hopefully, you know, you can change mattresses and change your cookware. And there are some things that you can do to reduce your exposure. And hope. Cross your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Kathy. Hope and cross your fingers? Is cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and overall health getting better, same or worse? Just because you have toxins and poisons measured in your bloodstream, in your urine, doesn't have to make disease. Well, that's your perspective, doctor. It's not necessarily the whole picture because the whole world is going to hell in a handbasket when it comes to health. We're moving away, we're moving away, farther away. We have less and less, less areas of green grass zone and we, and we have a whole lot more than brown grass zone and dead zones, right? So maybe there's something to all this toxicity. If you're to the thought process, well, if it's so bad for you, why would they sell it to us? We'll get into that, okay? But again, so think about this. If I took my fishy bowl here, Kyle, my fishy, okay? And I poured Diet Coke into the water, and I, then I dyed some Red Bull into the water, and I, sque and I put some Roundup in the water, what would happen to the fish? It would kill the fish, right? Is it because the fish has bad genes? Would we find those chemicals in the fish's blood or urine? Yes, why? Because the environment it lived in got toxic, so toxic that it killed the fish. So the point is not to blame the fish, it's time to change the water, it's time to change your environment. It's time to take make, making baby steps in the right direction, right? It's like my dog poop brownies, right? If I made brownies, and you really couldn't taste it, and only a little bit would get into your bloodstream and your urine, and you really couldn't taste it, it didn't make a big deal, they taste really good, everybody likes them, but it had trace amounts of dog poop in it, <laughs> would you eat it? None of you would, right? But yet, what if I called it tetrahydrofolipupate? poopate? <laughs> And the government didn't really necessarily make, I, I paid the government so much money that I didn't have to tell you that it was in there. And I gave it some fancy name, but when you looked at it, reality, it's still dog poop. You're being lied to because you're eating it every day. You're putting it on your skin. You're using it every day. It's there. That's why I call them crappuccinos, okay? <laughs> so again, your body, your cells are like buckets. And you live in America and your grandmother and your mother and you and live in this world. So when they said they tested all these umbilical cords, how did 240 dangerous toxins be in the baby? And the baby hasn't even once done anything wrong, right? Because the mother prenatal, then the mercury and the vaccines, then the heavy metals, and that's not Van Halen and Led Zeppelin, okay? <laughs> then that's toxic homes they live in, toxic foods, and then medications, right? Sometimes within the first day 
of the child's life, they've been exposed to all those things. And again, if it doesn't fill up the cells, then you're living fine, right? Your body's not making disease. You do have it in your urine. You do have it in your blood. And it hasn't caused a crisis or an overflow yet. So you are living at peace with your poisons. It's not causing you to be in a brown grass zone. It could if you're not aware of it, though. But what happens is then when the bucket overflows, when you get too many of these toxins in your body, then they overflow to dysfunction. But the problem is the symptoms that when you have these symptoms and you're in a brown grass zone, you go to a doctor and they just simply give you more toxins to treat the toxic issue. That's why what we will have to move you to a green grass zone. And so again, which one do you feel like? There's no old lady in there. <laughs> Sorry. It just, I just saw it. It's that, that what we're doing with these toxins is that we're literally ruining our skin because our skin is an organ. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. And understand, toxic chemicals that you use every day are what's causing your skin allergies, your cancer, your infertility problems, the birth defects, reproductive problems, and learning disabilities. Because again, are all these brown grass zones or green grass zones? brown grass they don't belong there something's wrong God didn't make you that way something is interfering with your zone and again 26 seconds is all it takes when you put chemicals on your body to absorb into your bloodstream 26 seconds some of you are using different creams progesterone creams estrogen creams you put it on your tummy boom, it's in there attitude change right 26 seconds is all it takes so what are you putting on you you could be spending lots of money on organic foods and going to gyms and doing really well, but not realizing you're sabotaging your process and making yourself sick. And that's why you're still in the green grass zone. So again, total 475 chemicals are put on your body, especially women. And those chemicals are found in hairspray, blushers, foundation, deodorant, body lotion, fake tan, nail varnish, perfume, lipstick, eyeshadow, and shampoos. So again, how often do you use this stuff? Daily. How long have you been using it for? A long time. Are your buckets being filled up and therefore overflowing? That's the whole point. It's not the first Big Mac that makes you sick. It's your love affair for the last 30 years of having that because you have to have that. Okay? And again, what are the signs of estrogen dominance? What do these chemicals do to you after your buckets overflow? Well, irritability, anxiety, hot flashes, insomnia, you gain weight, migraine, depression. It's not that the, it's, you'll see a slide in a minute. It's not that the poisons are in the food. It's what they do to you. It's what they do to you. So this is definitely a toxic reaction of your body. So again, what's the real price of beauty? And you're going to see the videos, but real quick, if you see sodium lauryl sulfate, that's in car washes, garage floor cleaners, engine degreasers, but also in cosmetics, toothpaste, hair conditioners, and about 90% of all shampoos. So somehow they're putting an engine degreaser on your body. Could that be, is that, would it have a green grass or brown grass effect? Wow. Yeah. How about mineral oil, right? In lotions, creams, and baby care products. It's a product of gasoline distillation from crude oil. But they put it in our products. Synthetic fragrances, right? As many 200 ingredients in them. And if you, again, is that what's causing your migraines and asthma and wreak havoc on your body? Well, could be. Phthalates, they're in wood finishers, softeners, plastic hairsprays, lubricants, and more. They're linked damage to the liver, heart, kidney, lungs, and animal studies. Again, look for these names and avoid phthalates. Again, here's the thing. A hundred years ago, a lot of these diseases you see today in the, in the womb and you see in babies and mommies and people weren't there. Why? Because these chemicals weren't in our everyday products. What was in soap? Soap. Right? What was in the water? water you know, right? you know and again I can't even pronounce half these this one here is in plywood mobile plastics as well as exp extensively used in textile industry making fabrics permanent press waterproofing and their color and create retarded retard, uh, fire retarded fa fabrics and again these are science experiments that, that they're now using small amounts of formaldehyde can have detrimental effects on our body formaldehyde causing cancer where do you find it? Nail treatments, 
poly nail polish, moisture moisturizers, a eye makeup, lip products, shaving products, shampoos, even baby shampoos. It's there. Try triclosan from soaps, deodorants, lotions, toothpastes. Okay, it reacts with chlorine to tap water to form chloroform. Last time I read about chloroform, it does not good for you, okay? <laughs> it accumulates in the body, tissues, toxic levels will cause damage to your liver, kidneys, and lungs. Again, will this, will this cause you to go from green grass to brown grass zone? Yes. DEA, it's a wedding agent in shampoos, lotions, creams, and cosmetics to create rich lathery and consistency, right? When, you, when it comes to NDEA, it's absorbed rapidly through the skin. It's been shown to be linked to stomach, esophagus, liver, bladder cancers. And they banned this stuff in Europe. But it's okay in America. A lot of the stuff that still you're using every day, trying to be a, in the green grass zone, they've banned in Europe. When I, Mrs. Arvin and I go to Europe, we eat bread. We eat all the things that... And we're fine. We don't have any reactions because these chemicals aren't in the food or in the soil. And again, FD, color pigments, artificial colors are linked, linked to cancers. Artificial synthetic link colors cause damage to the body where we ingest them, we breathe them, or just come in contact with our skin, like eyeshadows, blushes, and lipsticks. Propylene glycol is found in most makeups, hair products, lotions, aftershaves, deodorants, mouthwashes, and toothpastes. Isopropyl alcohol. It's solvent denature strips the nature, natural acids of your skin. It strips off the natural acids of your skin. Why is that important? Because your natural acids are first line of defense against viruses, bacteria, fungus, and the like. Okay? Yes? Isn't propylene glycol in a lot of our food as well? It is. Allergies. Yes. Thank you. You're going to see a lot of repeating of this stuff that when I talk about what makes you fat, what makes your house make you sick, what makes your joints ache, you're going to see the same things. So it's not bad enough, okay, I'll change out my lipstick. Well, then you may need to change out your, dress, your, your, your salad dressing. You need to change out what you're putting on your grass. Because if one doesn't hit you, the other one hits you, right? Again, we're made to be green grass. And if that's your promise. And if you're not experiencing that, then we need to find out. Because they said, well, it's just a little bit of dog poop. It won't hurt you. Guess what? Are you underliving your life? Are you in the brown grass zone? It's time to get rid of it and see how your body does. And you'll be surprised. Because little bits have a, have a 13 times, it has a multiplication effect on your body, right? Okay. So again, natural skin care. When you're looking for natural skin care, you have to hunt. Keyword, hunt, right? It doesn't, and just because you're at a health food store doesn't necessarily mean you're safe. Okay, you have to hunt for unprocessed ingredients without any harsh chemicals or anything artificial. The closer the way God made it, the better off you're going to be, right? Okay. So, again, if your head's spinning right now, that's fine. Just be aware that we have some baby steps we need to make, and I'll go through all that. But I, I saw this video, and I liked it because it kind of just put it all more sense to understand it. This is a story about a world obsessed with stuff. It's a story about a system in crisis. We're trashing the planet, we're trashing each other, and we're not even having fun. The good thing is that when we start to understand the system, we start to see lots of places to step in and turn these problems into solutions. Can I tell you, I love my Pantene Pro-V. Of the dozen or so personal care products that I use every day, it's the one I can't live without. It says it gives my dull hair the ultimate cool shine. How does it do that? I was wondering that while I was lathering it in my hair one day, so I read the ingredients right here. Sodium laureth sulfate, tetrasodium EDTA, methyl isothiazolinone. What is this stuff? I took this list to some scientists who know how to read it. Turns out my Pantene contains a chemical linked to cancer. And lots of other products in my bathroom, from sunscreen to lipstick and even baby shampoo, also contain chemicals linked to cancer or other problems like learning disabilities, asthma, and even damaged sperm. Like most parents, I try to keep my family safe. But now I find out my bathroom is a minefield of toxins? What are we supposed to do? 
To find out the answers, we have to go back to one of the key features of our materials economy. Toxics in, toxics out. If at the factory you pour toxic chemicals into a product, like baby shampoo, you're going to wind up with toxic baby shampoo and toxics in workers, communities, and duh, babies. So let's take a closer look at this toxic outrage where it seeps into our lives every day, in the bathroom. The average woman in the U.S. uses about 12 personal care products daily. The average man, about six. Each product containing a dozen or more chemicals. Less than 20% of chemicals in cosmetics have been assessed for safety by the industry's safety panel. So we just don't know what they do to us when we use them. Would you fly on an airline that only inspects 20% of its planes? Of course, not all of these chemicals are dangerous, but we know that many are. Some are carcinogens. That means that they can cause cancer. Others are neurotoxins and reproductive toxins, proven to mess up brain development and reproduction in animals. Wait a minute, we're animals too. It's like a giant experiment. We're using all these mystery chemicals and just waiting to see what happens. One thing we do know is that they're getting inside us. I had my body's toxicity levels tested, and I'm loaded with things like mercury, flame retardants, triclosan, and lead. We all are. Even babies are being born pre-polluted. Now, I know we can't live in a lead-free world, but do we have to put lead in our lipstick? I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I just bought the wrong thing. At the store, the choices seem endless. I can get lipstick in 49 shades, or shampoo for hair that's too dry, oily, fine, limp, or frizzy. But what about the choices that really matter? Like the choice to buy products that are safe? It turns out the important decisions don't happen when I choose to take a product off the shelf. They happen when companies and governments decide what products should go on the shelves. So who are these companies? This is Procter & Gamble. They're the ones offering me Herbal Essences, the number two shampoo in the country. It contains toxic petrochemicals made from oil. Since when is oil an herb? On cosmetics labels, words like herbal, natural, even organic have no legal definition. That means that anybody can put anything in a bottle and call it natural, and they do. I mean, can you imagine a top seller called Petro Essences? Gross. What's even nastier are hair relaxers marketed to five-year-olds and skin whitening creams. These are super toxic, both in their ingredients and in the message they send about what beauty is. Ooh, here's Estee Lauder offering me a chance to help find a cure for breast cancer. That's nice. But wait, they're also using chemicals linked to cancer. Don't you think the best way for Estee Lauder to fight cancer is to stop using those chemicals in the first place? So really, I get to choose between meaningless claims on a bottle. But these guys get the real choice about what goes into those bottles. And that happens back here, at the factories where they're formulated. Why do the makers of these products use all these toxics? Are they trying to poison us? No, they're just working from a 1950s mindset when people were totally swept up in better living through chemistry. In all that excitement, they forgot to worry about human health impacts. That was years ago, and they are still using these same old toxic chemicals. Today, big cosmetics companies say the doses of poison in the products are small enough to be harmless. Yeah, maybe if you use them once a year. I guess they never get out and see that their products are being used and combined with other products every day. A little toxic dose under your arms, a little more on your hair, on your lips. And workers in nail and hair salons get dosed all day long. So the industry is used to doing things this way. And they can. Because even now that scientists have linked the chemicals they're using to all sorts of problems, there are no laws to get rid of them. You're thinking, really? Come on, nobody's making sure that the stuff we smear all over our bodies is safe? Nope. The FDA doesn't even assess the safety of personal care products or their ingredients. Since 1938, they've banned just eight out of over 12,000 ingredients used in cosmetics. They don't even require that all of the ingredients be listed on the label. Now, this is an example where we can all agree a little more government action would be helpful. This lack of regulation leaves a huge hole that the cosmetics industry is all too happy to fill. They set up their own committee to self-police their products, and compliance with their recommendations is voluntary. So the cosmetics industry is making the rules and then deciding whether or not to follow them. So you see, it isn't our fault that these toxic products are in our bathrooms. 
It's a whole broken system that's ignoring the simple rule. Toxics in, toxics out. But we're not helpless. There are resources online that we can use to protect ourselves by identifying the best possible choices in the store. But the real action is with people working to change the system. Because if we really want to solve this problem, we got to start here with these guys. Women, parents, workers, people all over the country are demanding that Congress pass a new law, giving FDA the power to make sure that our personal care products are safe. We need common sense laws based on the precautionary principle. That means that when you're dealing with hazardous chemicals, just err on the side of caution. Let's not debate how much lead should be allowed in lipstick. Just get the toxic chemicals out of our products. Smarter laws would force companies to get past that old 50s mindset and figure out how to get us all clean and shiny without toxic chemicals. Can they? Totally. Many responsible cosmetics companies are already putting safer products on the market. Green chemists are developing substances that are designed to be safe and non-toxic in the first place. European governments have required the removal of many toxic chemicals, and companies have figured out how to comply. When cosmetics are reformulated to be safe and labeled honestly, then we can feel comfortable with the choices available at the store. We can choose bouncy hair or full hair, shiny lipstick or matte. We can even choose to feel beautiful without using 20 products. But we'll know that whatever we choose, the most important choice, the choice to be safe and healthy, has already been made. Dr. Joe, it's shampoo, come on. Hey, I get it, but I look at the health of our, of our community, I look at the health in our churches, in our schools, and something's wrong. So where do we start? Well, if somebody says, you know, what you're eating has dog poop in it, I'm gonna stop eating it. If something, you know, I have a family history of cancer. Well, we also love using that shampoo. Do you have a history of shampoo that's causing a history of cancer? You know, it's, it's, it's there. Is it that bad and toxic? It really is. They've banned it in Europe. There's a reason, they don't just ban things on, you know. So, yeah, we have to. Now, again, take the plank out of your own eye. Who here can change shampoos, right? You don't have to change the president to change the shampoos, right? Okay, good, good. All right, so go see Mrs. Arve afterwards, please. Uh, talk to her, get her card. If you go to beautycounter.com, Eileen Arve, her little face will pop up. This, and it says, if, if you don't know her, change. I mean, I, cause I, I'm like, I'm not sure I tell the right thing, right? So go. All 10 million viewers and Facebook Live, Beauty Counter, Eileen. Because you'll see the videos like in lipstick. What's in your lipstick? They'll have videos there to tell you it's toxic. So, okay. And again, that's about changing the outside. What about the inside? Because we got to heal the inside. So probiotics are very important. That's why, you know, you can help your immune system and nervous system deal with toxins like bad bacteria, yeast, viruses, fungi, parasites. Well, Because if it's in your body and you start getting eczema, rashes, skin issues, acne, it's simply an, your skin is now a, a reaction of what the disease process, the brown grass making on the inside. Because if your liver can't get rid of it, then it pushes it out through the skin. So by changing the inside, you affect the outside. So I love vitamin D3 because again, it boosts the immune system on the inside. It's your body's first line of defense against disease. Literally sun in a bottle. And any products you get today are all 10% off for you today, okay? But again, it's pushing that stuff out. It's healing, saying the healing because it has vitamin D3 and probiotics in it. And again, Joanne Welsh, who is a cancer uh, researcher, said within a few days, as you boost your vitamin D levels, the cancer cells shriveled up and died. So again, when you put this in your body, it has a green grass effect. Bad things go away and good things begin to happen. That's why I love our vitamin D3 product. We made our own because we weren't getting the results that we wanted. And again, getting the gut healthy, as you get your gut healthy, that has a huge effect on your skin. Lots of times because of antibiotics, birth control pills, you're not eating food, you're, you're, you've lived yourself in America to a brown grass zone, your skin is not what you want it to be. And you're putting all the creamers on, right, which is now making it worse, but if we begin to heal the inside, the gut, you have huge effects on it. So you saw me drinking the kombucha earlier, Max GI I like to use, just to keep things healing. 
And again, omegas, fish oils, those are important because they're loaded with fatty acids. You need those. They keep your skin moist and elastic. They help regulate your hormone function, nerve system function, and immune function. So we like using the Optimal Omega. It has three, six, and nine in it. It boosts your immune system. So less colds and flu, better brain function, better heart function, better skin. And again, collagen protein, right? Everybody wants to take their collagen pills, but literally you do it better if you get it from the inside out. So we like bone broth. Uh, again, collagen helps build healthy skin cells, is partially responsible for your youthful elasticity, softness, and firmness, right? And it's also, it's also much more effective when you take it eternally. And so we like bone broth, right? And some of you have tried it. Bone broth has been found to help prove and boost your gut and immune system, your joints and muscles, your skin, hair, and nails, and your metabolism and a healthy weight and you sip it, you drink it. You can make it yourself. I prefer to simply open up the container, take a scoop, put it in the cup, add hot water, and I sip on it. That's how I do it. And I do one or two glasses a day. It's like my, my first thing that hits my tummy in the morning. And again, if that's one of the reasons why, I, I give all, Mrs. Harvey all the credit why I look so young and strong at 51. But again, this is what I do, it works for me. I've had patients since we started using this saying, I can't believe my skin, I feel better, my, my, my body's feeling better. And again, we have it today on sale. You have coffee flavor or turmeric flavor, and it's 45 bucks. We changed the price, just 45 bucks, okay? And do we have any books left? And if you get one, as long as book, we have a book for you too, it goes with it. And again, Everybody's doing it. Gwyneth Patrow, uh, Kobe Bryant, cafes or bone brass cafes, uh, Today Show, uh, Salma Hayek. I mean, it's just becoming real cool. So be cool like them and drink, sip on bone broth, okay? And then again, the conversation, the conversion is simple. Again, why do I do it? Because when I try to make it myself, it's about 5.50 a serving. It takes me 12 to 48 hours, not me, Mrs. Harvey, to make it, okay? Versus in a scoop, is 2.25 a serving, one to five minutes of work. It's simple. Make life simple. That's why we really love it. And again, here's the book we talk about. My friend, Dr. Josh Axe, uh, who's doing a really good job in this book is a three-day, seven-day, 30-day transformation cleanse that you can use by using the bone broth as your friend. Really neat stuff. We have it here. It's fun. Give it a try. And then drink plenty of water. Well, duh. But again, what's in the water, right? So reverse osmosis is what we have here. There's filtration systems, you know, Start looking at your water system. Maybe it's taking baby steps to get cleaner water, okay? And again, I pulled this out because some of you are like, give me something, right? So this is called the flat tummy water, okay? It's got six cups of filtered water with grated ginger, one cucumber sliced up, one lemon sliced, one third cup of mint leaves. Well, I hate to taste the water. Fine, put stuff in it. Just drink more water, right? And this slide says it'll give you a flat tummy. Just drinking the water will give you a flat tummy, but again, whatever you think, you're right, <laughs> you know? So again, six cups of filtered water, ginger, cucumber, sliced lemon, or mint leaves, okay? That's a fun one. That's just fun stuff. So, and then get some good sleep. If you, want, if you go to our Spine Geek YouTube channel, I do a whole workshop on sleep. That a lack of sleep will whack out your hormones, make your skin look old, and cause you to get sick and gain weight. Get sleep. I'll give you a note to take a nap every day if you want to, okay? Again, hormonal imbalances lead to breakouts. Your skin will break out if you're not getting enough sleep. Your happy hormones get kicked in when you're sleeping, which can help balance your stress hormones, which helps you lose weight. Therefore, skin problems become compromised if you're not getting enough sleep. Well, okay, how many teenagers, not to pick on anybody in here, there's only one I know of. Oh, there's a couple more. Age 13 to 18 sleep right here with their cell phone next to their head. And they're up at 2 o'clock in the morning, did, 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 what's going on? They're not getting sleep, and they can't understand why they're breaking out, why their skin is so bad and so awful. And we try to find all the solutions. Put the phone in the kitchen, sleep 7 to 8 hours a night, and watch your skin change. And again, women's multi. you got to be putting food. I love this women's multi, what it does for the women in my life and our patients. Because again, heart health, breast health, and hair, hair, skin, and nail blend. It helps all this get strong and healthy. And for men, again, this has an endurance blend, an antioxidant blend, a heart blend, and a prostate blend. So when you take that, you're feeding your body what it needs to get to the green grass zone. And again, on Saturdays, as part of your doctor, once you've gone through the beginning 60 days of your care, I do what's called applied kinesiology. Even Albert Einstein explained that everything in your body is energy, okay? 
I read something else about Einstein where he, when he developed this, he saw that it was true. He's like, this is spooky science. I don't understand how it all works, but it works. And so we use it to your advantage. So we help figure out what nutrition you do need when it's time, what the dosage should be, so you're not getting too much vitamins or too, or too little vitamins. Some of you, when you come in and I test out all the vitamins you're currently taking, when we, sometimes we eliminate literally hundreds of dollars worth of vitamins that your body's not using, that it's making you toxic, and that right there alone, by eliminating those vitamins that you do, your body doesn't want, pays for all your care you need here, right? The worst vitamin is the one your body doesn't need. The most expensive vitamin is the one your body doesn't need. So before you just put you on a bunch of nutrition to try to change your skin, we muscle test you, we do polykinesiology to make sure you're getting exactly what you need. Because if you think, well, I need one vitamin D a day, so I'll take two. No, that will have a toxic effect on your body. Your body can't process it. You're all combination locks. I need to unlock that right combination for you so that you'll go to the green grass zone. Once we have everything dialed in, you go into the green grass zone is very simple and very effective and very fast. We just have to get it dialed in and make sure there's nothing sabotaging it. So personal nutrition test, that's what we do. Get signed up today. The 29th is our next day doing it. So arthritis. Okay, so skin, we just finished skin. Now we're gonna cruise into joint pain, arthritis. Arthritis is the number one cause of disability in the United States because the toxins now get into our joints. Okay, sorry. Leah, turn that heat up to 72. Okay, it's the number one cause of disability in the United States. 50% of adults living in the United States who are over 65 have it. So is it a problem? Yes, okay. 300,000 babies and children have arthritis with rheumatic conditions or rheumatoid arthritis. Should never, I mean, I see that. And I know everyone's promised a green grass life, but when I see this in a baby or a teenager or a young adult, I'm going, something's wrong. You're toxic. You're toxic. And by, here, by 2030, there'll be 67 million Americans over age 18 suffering with arthritis. Why? Because they keep dumping all those chemicals into our system. And again, what's it cause? Heart disease, diabetes, obesity, anxiety, depression, gout, or high blood pressure. It's all connected. Yes? Brother, do you have a definition of arthritis? Yeah. Yeah. What would it be? I'm going to tell you. Arthritis, arth, means joint. Itis means inflammation. You have inflammation in your joints. Could be elbow, could be wrist, could be finger, but that's what arthritis is. Oh, oh Arthur's getting me. Yeah, but why is he getting you? Because you're living in a brown grass zone. That's a side effect, arthritis, because you're toxic for today's purposes. The other thing's going wrong too, right? But here's the thing. What's our solution when we have arthritis? What's the number one solution? Ibuprofen. Now, is ibuprofen made by God or made by man? So will it have a toxic effect on our body? Yes. yes. What if I just take a little bit? Okay, one, my children get their wisdom tooth pulled out. First time they ever had medic painkillers. I'm a nice guy, take some Tylenol, fine. Leah falls, busts her elbow, dislocates it. All right, take some Tylenol, you're okay. Emergency, crisis. Some of us, not in this room, this is part of your diet every day. Some of you people out there take nine before they even get out of bed in the morning because if they don't, they're going to hurt, right? To me, that's called problem, okay? But here's the thing. It's capable of lowering hormones that cause inflammation. You have an inflammation problem. You take ibuprofen. Why does it take care of the pain? Because it gets rid of your body's telling you you have a problem. So now you go about your day hurting yourself. You don't know it because you're on ibuprofen, it interferes with formal, normal functions of the nerve system. You don't want that. Changing the ways our nerves communicate feeling of pain when they occur in certain spots of the body. Again, ibuprofen, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. That's what NSAIDs are all about, right? Stop normal function of the blood, heart, and gut. People experience irritation of the gut lining, reduced blood clotting, changes in the blood pressure, and stomach irritation from ibuprofen. You just want your hands to feel good. You just want to be able to play golf. You're not knowing that by you being able to take this stuff as a daily way of life, that you're setting yourself up and you're living in the brown grass zone and your body is making disease, okay? Very high dosage of ibuprofen that is capable of damaging your digestive system, especially the intestines of your stomach. Increase odds of having, then you increase your chance of having a heart attack or stroke 
even with people who aren't at high risk to begin with. This is especially true if you have other health problems when you take very high dosages when you use the medication long term to manage symptoms, which that's what we do. We don't go to the doctor, we have a big bottle, if you go to Costco, you got jumbo size, pop, pop, pop. We don't even think. Headache, ibuprofen. A little stiffness, ibuprofen. Got a fever, ibuprofen. We don't even think what it's doing to us. We just take it. We just take it. Because that's what our yellow car perception says to do. That's what our grandmother did. That's what our mother taught us. Our mother's never wrong. That's just their perception. Baby, well, it's just baby asthma, Dr. Harvey. That's even worse. It's even more toxic for you, right? So again, how do you know maybe if you're taking too much? Well, increased risk of seizures or coma and severe toxicity, increased risk of heart attacks and stroke, low blood pressure levels, intestinal bleeding, especially in older adults, having a hard time going pee, Headaches, confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, blurred vision, ringing in the ears, trouble breathing, shallow breathing, and wheezing, digestive and gastrointestinal problems, skin rashes. Oh, I just take a little bit of ibuprofen, Dr. Joe. Come on. For how long and how much? Again, are your cells, are your buckets filling up? Again, are you causing your own health crisis and you don't even know it? Right? There it is. So again, there are natural alternatives. One is called the healing diet, which you're going to learn about in a minute, right? But turmeric and ginger is used for regulating cholesterol, arthritis symptoms, blood clotting, depression, cancer, digestive disorders like colitis, diabetes, and chronic pain. Okay, that's why I love the daily defense. When we test you and you see you need this, this is your natural ibuprofen. It's got turmeric, curcumin in it, Indian gooseberry has other things, uh, SOD, sodium disputase, sorry, I'm scratching my brain here, to help, wait a minute, wait a minute, there. <laughs> Fights inflammation, which leads to the development of current diseases like that. So this is what I would choose to take as a step in the right direction. Not that I'm using vitamins to treat your problem, but let's get you off something that's very toxic to something that's less toxic as long as your body needs it, okay? And then magnesium. Magnesium is crucial with nerve signaling, fluid balance. It's great for relieving tension, headaches, and muscle spasms and indigestion. So, again, essential oils, including peppermint, lavender, eucalyptus, tea tree oil. If you have any essential oil questions, see Rachel. She's really good at that. Epsom salt baths, right? Don't put too much in, you'll get diarrhea. Just saying, because it's magnesium. Take too much magnesium, Clean you right out, right? It's a whole different, that's a whole different cleansing program, but I don't suggest that one, right? <laughs> but the salts are absorbed directly to the skin. How long? 26 seconds, penetrating the areas that might be throbbing or swollen. It takes time. We just get her going the right direction. And again, we love on her, we help her. And again, you go at your pace, you go at your speed, but we stop, you know, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like the first step in getting out of debt is to stop going into debt. Stop, stop digging the hole, right? And so, you know, that's some of the things you can do naturally, right? That's something you do naturally. So, skin, we've talked about that, okay? Arthritis, pain, I heard all the time. Well, I'm just taking, you know, and again, um, some people don't want to take medication because they think they're going to offend me and disappoint me. It has nothing to do with that. When these folks tell you that they don't take medication anymore, it's because they don't need it anymore. They got healthy. They started moving towards a green grass zone because it's like, well, I just not, it's not it's, I still hurt, but I'm gonna stop taking it. Well, that's not, that's not doing it. It's like, well, I have cancer. I'm not gonna let them cut on me. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna hope and pray. That ain't gonna fix you either. Hoping and praying doesn't move you to the green grass zone either. You have to be taking objective steps to physically go the right direction, right? That's what it's all about. That's about. It's not just, well, I'm just going to hope it goes away, pray harder. No, you have to eliminate the, what's causing the problem and then feed your body what it needs so it can get healthy, okay? So, speaking of that, got food? Let's talk about food now. Is this food? Yes, it is. Now, if I hid in Costco, though, you would see this in my shopping cart sometimes, right? Or your shopping cart. Got food. So, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. And you're not, you are what you eat, but you are what your body can digest and absorb, too. So, our body's events, defense against toxins, many of which the body is not equipped to properly eliminate, is, is to store these toxins in fat cells. So, when you eat this, 
Whatever your body can't use, it makes, it stores in fat cells, usually around my waist, right here, love handles, okay, toxic handles we should call them, okay? So that's the problem. Your body can't eliminate this and it stores it in fat cells. The fat cells encase the toxins to protect the body from exposure to them the best able to do. The more toxins that come in, the more fat cells we need. Hmm, problem, right? Through our skin, through our medication, through our food, it's making us fat, okay? Making us fat. So here's what happens. The more toxic you are, the more you look like this. The less toxic you are, the more you look like that. Green grass zone, brown grass zone, dead grass zone. Can you get the difference? That's why these toxins, so your body can't burn fat. Your body can't eliminate fat. Some of you will try to go on a diet and you maybe lose five or 10 pounds and then you can cut your leg off and the scale won't move. Because you're toxic, that's the problem. It's called weight loss resistance, okay? So again, let's make it really basic. How's it getting into my life? Well, fast food. Nine hidden fast food threats. Number one, the meat you're eating really isn't meat. It's not chicken, it's not beef, it's like mystery meat. So that's number one. Number two, there are veterinary drugs detected in the meat that you're eating. Technically called, AKA, dog poop, right? It's in there, it's, it's in the food, right? So tw 16 out of 25 fast food restaurants receive an F grade for antibiotics in meat policy. So they got penicillin, I don't know what that is, and ever, I don't, but it's, it's animal warmer linked to neurological damage in humans. A drug linked to kidney damage, stomach and colon ulcers and blood stool of humans. Triggered life-threatening reactions in people allergic to it. So it doesn't belong in your meat. That's why I love corner post meats. We had ham for Easter, Resurrection Day. It was organic, it was delicious, it was non-toxic, and we had fun. And then my wife made the best lentil soup with the ham in it left over. It was amazing. It was amazing. And to be honest, I'm like, we're having lentil soup, really? And, and then the whole day I was like, man, I can't believe I said that, Joe. What's wrong with you? You know it's done. And then I, and then I tasted it, and I, can't, I changed my perception. <laughs> it was delicious. It was amazing. It was amazing. So here's all our favorite, and, and you'll like this one, Rachel. So only Panera and Chipotle get A's as far as serving you really meat. So when you get a chicken burrito or something, it's really meat. It gets an A. The, only, the other two that get B's is Subway and Chick-fil-A, okay? They get B's, so you're kind of getting meat when you eat meat there. But the rest, okay, McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Papa John, get, you know, C, C minus D, F, Dairy Queen, Denny's, Dunkin' Donuts, Jack in the Box, KFC, Arby's, Sonic, Olive Garden, Starbucks, Applebee's, BW3, Burger King, Chili's, Domino's, IHOP, and Little Caesars. So, yes? Can you print that page someday? Uh, I, uh, did I not? I, I knew. Someone said put it in your pack, and I didn't. I will. I'll print it up and have it for you on Monday. So you're going to go out to eat. Go to Chipotle. Fine, go to Chick-fil-A. Right? Now, if this is your everyday thing, no, no, no. What are you going to do to your buckets? You're going to fill them up. If it's once in a while, fine. Your body will be able to process it. It's okay because you're moving towards green grass, right? But I'm saying if this is your all the time diet, then that's why you're toxic. If it's your once in a while diet, then again, if you're in a green grass zone and you have a McDonald's french fry, you will hurt. It will not be fun. You will not enjoy it. Because why? Cooking potatoes at high temperatures has a cancer causing effect on your body. The fat in there, not good for you, right? So what's really in a fast food chicken nugget? Well, 60% of the meat in a chicken nugget is actually fat, blood vessels, and ground up bone and gristle. From the dead animals. Yum. Chicken meat is only 20% of the nugget. So then what's the other 80%? Well, it's unhealthy hydrogenated oils, which is banned in Europe, right? Frightening amount of sodium. Frightening if, you eat, if you're salt sensitive, you can blow up like a balloon with too much sodium intake. Like Veruca salt. <laughs> I'm a blueberry. I'm a chicken McNugget now. And it has TBHQ, right? It's a petroleum-based preservative. It causes nausea, vomiting, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and delirium, right? But these kids are eating this every day in school for lunch. 
No wonder they're flunking out. It's been linked to these health issues. Liver damage, cellular mutation, so you'd like turn into a ninja turtle, Bio cha biochemical changes, reproductive health. Messes it up. It's just a chicken nugget, right? No, it's not. And again, they poison us, not just make us fat. You say, well, I don't eat fast food. I don't want to gain weight. I agree. But it's actually poisoning you, making you sick, and making your organs shut down, and systems fail. Okay? Leah, turn the AC back up, please. Poisonous packaging. Poisonous packaging. Fast food packaging tested to contain toxic grease-proofing chemicals. Paperboard, desserts, bread wrappers, sandwich and burger wrappers. Sinister sweeteners linked to heart disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, found in buns, dressings, and pickles. Migraine triggering sauces. MSG, monosodium glutamate linked to wheezing, migraines, heart rate changes, burning sensations, top offenders, KFC, Chick-fil-A. Fake, so get the burger, get the chick, chicken sandwich, but don't put anything on it. Tomato is your ketchup. Lettuce can be your bun. Don't drown, again, super salad, right? You go get a great salad and you drown it in ranch dressing, you just killed any nutritional value you're gonna have there, right? Fake dyes, potent preservatives, toxic ingredients. Red dye 40, yellow 5, blue 1. I've seen children, you give them one Skittle with red dye 40, they're having a seizure immediately. And on the bag it says, nowhere warning can cause seizures, right? Linked to allergic reactions, cancer causing contaminants, and ADHD. It's right there, toxic ingredients, fake dyes and preservatives. And it's in your cleaners, your skin, your blushers, your food, your drinks. You're not just getting it in one area, you're getting it in every area. Inflammatory oils, industrial GMOs and trans fats. Fast food oils are often, again, industrial, genetically modified trans fats. Do these belong in a body made by God? Will these put you in a green grass zone? Will these purposely cause your body to go to a brown grass dead zone? Yeah. Yes. And again, environmental destruction. We're killing our trees to make room for soybeans, which therefore is a genetically modified product to help put chemi more chemicals into our system. And again, if I don't give a shout out again to Dr. Josh Axe, I take a lot of his stuff. He does a really good job preparing all these articles. I take them, I make my slides out of them. He's made my life so much easy. Thanks, Dr. Ja Dr. Josh, I know you're watching. So again, well, Dr. Joe, where does it come from? Well, it comes from there. It comes from there. It comes from there. 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 There, 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 there. Okay, is any of that stuff food? Can you make your own homemade versions of that? Yeah. I'm not telling you to give up stuff. I had, I had them for Easter. Only candy I had. They're called sun drops. Real chocolate covered in nuts. They were delicious. I had a couple handfuls. I was done. But I, didn't, but I didn't get toxic over it. I don't have the M&Ms. Not, it's not food. It's not even a choice. That's why if you were here the other day, somebody was talking about, I just want to get healthy. I'm concerned what the doctor said about me. And I, again, God tells me, right? Like, well, get rid of your Easter candy. Well, I still have one week left. No, you don't. You don't have one week left. Easter was like a long, Christmas was, well, Christmas was four months ago. Why do you still have those candy canes in the house? Oh, watch out, right? But my point is that this is not even an option of food. I will find a better version that won't kill me, right? This is not even food. So again, well, Dr. Joe, what about a low-fat diet? Because that obviously is the, is the issue, right? Low-fat diet. And we've all been told by our doctors, you need to cut out fat. Fat, fat. Oh, there's cholesterol in that. That's going to kill you. You need to go on a low-fat diet. No, you don't. Some of you need to take butter and just start smearing it onto your skin, right? And start eating it by the spoonful because that's why you're not healthy. You need to get more fat in your body, right? So again, if you're on a low-fat diet or you're trying to cut fat out or you're doing a fat alternative kind of process, you're, you're, you're crushing your brain. That's why your cholesterol is all wacky. Cholesterol has an important role as far as a brain nutrient and a sex hormone nutrient. 
and it's essential to your nerve system. So you need fat. Low cholesterol levels can be worse than high cholesterol levels. You need fat. Also, if you're on a low fat diet or you're cutting fat out of your life, you can compromise your heart health. Again, when you go on a low fat, you increase heart disease like coronary artery disease, leading cause of heart attacks. And inflammation, arthritis, which is the root of most diseases. So inflammation is what leads to cancer, heart disease. You have inflammation as a sign that you're living in a brown grass zone. You take your ibuprofen so it shuts it off, so you think you're fine, you're not, and you're making, that's why I can say, when you're in a brown grass zone, you're making all of this. You're making all of this. Again, when you're on a low-fat diet, you have hormone imbalances, including sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen. And again, over the last 30 years, what's happened to our ability for sex hormones, our heart, and our brain function? Has it gotten better? It, it's gone through the roof with following the low-fat diet craze. So again, low-fat diets raise the risk of menstrual problems and difficulty getting pregnant. Okay? Again, teenagers, are they more likely to be anorexic, have food issues, body image issues, so they use food as their control, right? And then they don't get their periods, their, their hormones are out of whack, they're crazy, these are boys and girls, right? Because they need to eat some food, right? Weight gain and overeating. I'm going to camp here for a second. You hear me talk about eating ratios. These folks did experiments on people, they ate the same number of calories, they just divided up though. Some folks ate a low fat, moderate protein, high carbohydrate diet. Some folks ate equal protein, equal fat, and equal carbohydrate percentage each day. Some folks ate a low percentage of carbohydrates, moderate protein, and some people would say high fat intake. Well, the ones who ate the low carbohydrate percentage and the moderate protein and the high, higher fat intake burned more calories, lost more weight, reversed their diabetes, and got healthier because they ate more good fat, healthy fats, and got rid of the, 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 the carbohydrates that were processed man-made foods. And so, I tried to put them color-coded to make it keep it. <laughs> but same number of calories. Some of you aren't eating enough. Right? And then you are eating enough, but it's the wrong ratio. So, the low fat diet, 60% total calories from carbohydrate, 20 from fat, 20 from protein. The low glycemic diet, 40% calories from carbohydrate, 40% from fat, and 20% protein. Because if you eat too much protein, that turns to sugar and can make you unhealthy as well. Okay? Low carb diet had just 10% of the calories from carbohydrates, 60% from fat, and 30% from protein. So what this looks like is lots of veggies, lots of good God-made fat, and a moderate amount of protein that has been made on the farm, grass-fed, natural protein. That's, a, that's, that's our healing diet, right? <clears throat> so the low-carb diet featured more fat than a person eating a standard American. So literally, the SAD diet, standard American diet, is used to. In fact, the average American probably is eating something more close to the low-fat ratio than, the, than, than what's high in carbs. So what were the results? On the low carb, high fat diet, burn the most calories, improve their insulin sensitivity. And since insulin sensitivity is what turns you into a fat burner or a sugar burner. Remember when you were a kid, you could walk by a plate of cookies, eat what you wanted, never gain any weight? That's because you were a fat burner. That means you're in the green grass zone. Now you look at a cookie and you gain five pounds, right? Or you put on shampoo on your head and you gain two pounds. Why? Because you're a sugar burner. Everything you eat turns to sugar. So fruit is not your friend. Bread is not your friend. Pasta is not your friend. Diet soda is killing you, right? Because you're turning everything into sugar. And that's why you're toxic. So, and again, last thing is high risk of insulin resistance and diabetes. That's why. If your body can't burn fat, then it's going to move you to the brown grass zone and disease is going to show up like diabetes and excess weight and blood sugar issues. Which again, tends to, you know, tends to have shows a diminished in weight loss success. Insulin resistant women are assigned to low fat diets compared to those assigned to low fat carbohydrate diets. So it's messing you up. Your diet your doctors are giving you or you're seeing on TV are whacking out your hormones and you're getting diabetes. And then you take diabetes medication and it gives you heart disease. And then you take heart disease medication and it increases your chances of type 2 diabetes. It's a vicious cycle. Vicious cycle. And again, higher, if you're on a low fat diet, 
higher risk for depression and anxiety. Because fatty acids for your brain play, play an important role. So this healing diet I'm going to tell you about in a minute is an antidepressant diet. Higher fat diets may lower depression and other mental disorders. When you're on omega-3 fatty acids, significant improvement in depressive symptoms. Even in patients treating diagnosed with major depressive disorders. So this right here, if your body needs it, will increase the fat in your body. If your child needs it, it may improve their mood and test scores. You need fat. Sometimes, this is omega-3. This is our omega product, 3, 6, and 9, we talked about here. Okay? And last thing, gut-related disorders. Again, you're just trying to lose weight, and you went on a low-fat diet, and you literally are setting yourself up the next 20, 30, 40 years of brown grass dead zone living. Okay? High-fiber diets now correlate with a healthier gut environment or microbiome. Healthy gut, also a healthy brain. Again, we have a whole workshop on this. Healthy fats feed the good gut bacteria, and the gut produces the bright balance need to lower inflammation, arthritis, healthier skin. Again, benefits of coconut oil, very easy to digest, even for those with chronic digestive issues. So again, low-fat diet wreaks havoc on your body, makes you toxic, makes you sick, puts you in the brown grass to dead grass zone. I need you to understand that for those of you who are trying to make changes, and your first change in your diet is going low-fat. You need, to, you need to get better. So, what are fat-burning foods, Dr. Arve? Chowing down on fat-burning foods can help you drop pounds potentially. So like avocados. Avocados, right? They're your friend. They're your friend. And they, get, lay, they raise levels of good cholesterol while lowering the bad cholesterol. So don't get on necessarily right now. Cholesterol medication, that's going to make you toxic. Get on avocados if you want to. Food is your medicine, right? For pregnant women, avocado is one of the great folate foods as this vitamin can help reduce the risk of birth defects. An avocado for Pete's sakes, right? Butter, right? Well, I knew butter. It's called, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> is that real food? No. Who made it? Man did. So, no, 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 good, right? But real butter, preferably raw butter from grass-fed organics, is what you should be reaching out for. But don't cook with it necessarily. You can overheat it and turn something good into bad. So butter's not your friend if you're overcooking stuff. We like coconut oil, right? But don't overcook that either. Use avocado oil because you can take a good fat and, over, and burn it and turn it into a bad fat and it makes you toxic, okay? And again, canola oil is not man-made. It's, it's not God-made. Man-made does not belong in your house. Yes? Hey, Doc. Um, what if you are able to, or the availability of raw milk to make your own butter? Yeah. So is that, is that yeah. So yeah, if it's raw, yeah, you can make your own butter. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Just get a little turner and stuff like that. Go for it. Go ahead. No, seriously. Coconut oil is your friend. Again, now it's got to be extra virgin virgin coconut oil, but it improves your brain and memory function. There's books on Alzheimer's. All the doctor did is give her husband five tablespoons a day of coconut oil, which, <laughs> which which is hard to do. Let's just say that. Okay. But his, but his brain, he came back. He came back. And she knew when he wasn't taking it when he started kind of going off the wrong, the wrong way. So, so that's important. So every day I do Dr. Joe coffee. I put co coconut oil and I, in, in my coffee. I blend it up. I sip on it. And I love it. I love it. Okay? Also, coconut oil helps increase your cholesterol, your good cholesterol, heart health, antioxidants. Helps reduce arthritis because you're getting what your body needs. It's moving you towards the green grass zone. Extra virgin olive oil is really good, right? Evu, right? You should name your dog that. Hey, Evu, come here. It's good for heart health. Again, it reduces. Again, you talk about a Mediterranean diet. I won't get into that today. We won't be done by three. But again, Mediterranean diet, hummus, olive oil, olives. Your body says, I love that. Give me it, right? And they're saying when you eat that way, it's having a green grass effect on you. It's having a detoxing effect on you. They see heart disease, diabetes, weight loss happen because your food now becomes your medicine. But it's not recommended for cooking at high temperatures. And omega-3s, again, omega-3, omega-3, omega nuts, walnuts, seeds, great source of omegas, flax seeds, many vegetables, our green leafy ones, good sources. Brussels sprouts, again, eyes, vision, Brussels sprouts, good for your eyes, cataracts, macular degeneration, all those things. If you don't want it, start getting on your fish oils, start eating your Brussels sprouts, okay, like your mother wanted you to do, kale, spinach, and water cress. All right, now, your house, can your house make you sick, yes or yes? There's this thing called phthalates. Again, we saw phthalates earlier, didn't we? Right? We saw phthalates earlier. Avoid these dangerous chemical toxins. Again, 
They are in plastics, increase their flexibility, wide range of cosmetics, release the environment. And then your diet, again, they're in all this, then your diet is the main source of phthalates. Fatty foods such as milk, butter, meats are commonly packaged, stored in plastic containing, this is dangerous toxin. So again, what's it do to us? It hits us at puberty in adults, testicular toxicity, it prolongs cycles reproduction hormones, suppresses delays in ovulation, having a negative impact on reproductive hormones. And again, who's it up to? Us, to avoid using these goods that contain these serious toxins. So it's in packaging, it's in cosmetic products, it's in household products, medical personal care products. And then how do we avoid them? Avoid store, food stored in plastic. That's where we start. Use homemade hair and skin care products, right? With essential oils, homemade shampoos, homemade conditioners. Go to Pinterest, there's tons of that stuff. Or check out Mrs. Ivory's table. Use glass containers. Why do we use, why do I drink water out of glass bottles? Because this is one thing I can do, okay? It's a pain in the butt when you drop it and it breaks, but then you go to just get another one, okay? Look for products that are free of DEP. Cleanse your body, right? Cleanse your body, I'll talk about that in a minute, right? And again, dirty side effects of, and again, sometimes they'll say eco-friendly and organic, but understand 75% of most products out there give you breathing problems, 40% algae problems, 25% cancer problems, 20% reproductive issues. It's what you're cleaning with. It's what you're cleaning with. Again, allergy, breathing, reproductive harm, cancer causers. So I'm not telling you to stop cleaning your house. Some of you thought, oh, there's my word for the day. I ain't cleaning my house anymore. I'm not gonna detoxify myself. It just let's live, let's live, let's live, live natural off dirt floors, right? Okay. What can you do? Now, I don't make this stuff. <laughs> I, we find it and we buy it. But you can, right? So you can make your own homemade laundry soap. One thing we always talked about though is making your own purpose cleaner. And I always got it wrong. What I used to say, I used to say ammonia, not vinegar, right? So I put this here purposely so I could give you the truth finally after 25, 26 years of practice. Nine parts water, one part white vinegar. I used to say ammonia or something. They're like, that's not it, Dr. Joe. So nine parts water in a squirt bottle, one part white vinegar, right? And it mixes and ingredients in a spray bottle. We even have a patient, I'll tell you who it is, she uses organic 100% proof vodka as a disinfectant. And I thought, I like that idea. <laughs> we'll be detoxing all day long. God, I am. <laughs> you know? Happy wife, happy life, that's all I can say. So, some of the best products out there, Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap, I like that. I use that a lot. I use that to shave, I use that for soap. It's, I, this is our favorite. All the other ones I can't really speak about because I don't use them, right? We have some seventh generation stuff, okay? But again, check out the EWG database, Environmental Working Group. They've got lots of good stuff there. But I like the castle soap. I like that, I use that a lot. If you get the peppermint, be careful if you're in the shower using it and you know what kind of parts because it can be really minty fresh, okay? All right, <laughs> I'm just saying. And again, what should, where are these things at? Where are these poisons at? Air fresheners, antibacterial products, fabric softeners, dryer sheets, caustic drain cleaners, and oven cleaners, right? Again, Dr. Joe, let me just talk about this for a second, because I know you think it. He doesn't wash his hands in between patients. That person just laid down there. How am I? Listen, we're not gonna make you sick by keeping this place clean, we're gonna make you healthy. We use common sense, we wipe tables down, we wipe things down, Right now we have baby wipes. Are there better alternatives out there? Probably, but we use that. So we keep this place germ clear. No one's gonna get sick by coming here. I don't get sick. If germs really made you sick, I'd be the sickest person in the world, right? Because I get all your germs, right? So we do everything we can to keep it clean and non-toxic, but I'm not, it, it, it kills me when I go to the hospital. I see every nurse before she walks in her room, psh, 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 you know? And I'll do it in the hospital because if I don't, they tackle me. You're going to make them sick. So <coughs> I play by the rules, but then I go wash my hands and get that crap off my hands because there's pharmaceuticals and there's crap in that disinfectant stuff. So that's why we, oh, I'm not being sloppy. I'm being healthy on purpose, okay? If anything I knew would make us all green grass better, you see it here. I have things diffusing on purpose to help us have a healthier environment, okay? So, but... Products with formaldehyde is bad for you. So Ajax dish liquid, lemon Ajax, 
triple dish action hand soap, orange, fab, ultra laundry liquid, detergent, spring magic, finish all in 113 concentrated gel packs. I usually see these when we go to some house that we're renting or something in, in, a, in a timeshare and they have those gel packs there, right? And we try to find something else and, and use it, right? Um, orange grease, cutting finish, eight power gel packs, orange cutting grease, palm olive, you're soaking in it. Ultra dish liquid, original palm olive, ultra concentrated. Boy, if that's not, if it's not bad enough, palm olive ultra dish, then we have ultra concentrated dish liquid. Lotus Blossom Lavender, be careful, Lotus, right? Wool Light Everyday Laundry Detergent, Sparkling Falls. Oh, Sparkling Falls. All makes you sick and gives you wrinkly skin and gives you brain damage. Okay, so what about this now? Dr. Joe, I'm pretty good. Well, what about these artificial sweeteners? Toothpaste, mouthwash, children's chewable vitamins, cough syrups, liquid medicines, chewing gum, no, cal no calorie waters and drinks, Alcoholic beverages, yogurt, frozen yogurt, frozen desserts, salad dressings. These are low fat. If you see low fat, think high toxic because they're going to use something toxic to make it taste good so that you buy it. So therefore, aspartame, pink pack, blue pack, yellow pack, right? Impairs memory, performance, oxy to the brain. If you are pregnant or nursing, avoid this dangerous artificial sweetener at all costs. Where would you get this from? Starbucks, your coffee shop, okay? Common side effects, headaches, migraines, mood disorders, dizziness, episodes of mania, right? Comprising phenylalanine, aspirin, it's just not good for you. Kidney, brain, destroys it. Sucralose, Splenda, where do you get that at? Any store, any store. Chlorinated sucrose, yes. Derivative of chlorine, one of the most toxic chemicals on the planet. Sucralose was originally found through the development of a new insecticide. And someone must have got it in their mouth and said, oh, this is really sweet. We can use it for something else. <laughs> okay? Isolfame. K, A-C-E, you know, you see it different, call different things. Again, sugar-free chewing gum, alcoholic beverages, candies, even sweeteners and yogurts. Nausea, mood problems, possibly some types of cancer, impaired kidney. And, uh, how often do you chew gum? What's well, low fat? Don't worry, mom. It's okay. No sugar. You're, you're setting yourself up for poor grades. Saccharin, sweet and low. Bladder cancer. So bad they put a warning on the box, right? Sadly, it's the primary sweetener for children's medications, though, including chewable aspirin, cough syrup, over the counter and prescription medications. Is that saccharin contributes to photosensitivity, nausea, digestive upset, tachycardia, and some types of cancer. It's in the very thing that you're giving or you're taking. You think it's going to make you green grass and it pushes you back further to brown grass dead zone. Okay? Erythritol, mannitol, sorbitol. Okay? Has gastrointestinal side effects that include bloating, cramping, diarrhea. Has a laxative effect on you. Okay? Tums, sorbitol. You can't go to the bathroom? Just choke down a few Tums. That sorbitol will hit you and you'll get rid of everything. Okay? I'm kidding. As a sugar alcohol base, artificial sweeteners are life-threatening toxins to doggies. So don't let your doggies, you dog lovers, you, be careful. Don't give your food or you don't let this get into your doggies. It'll make them sick. So what can you use then, Dr. Arby, since you've destroyed my whole life? <laughs> Raw honey, stevia, dates, coconut sugar, maple syrup, blackstrap molasses, balsamic glaze, banana puree, brown rice syrup, real fruit jam. Now, can you go and just start caking it on everything? No, it's still sugar, but it's better than what you've been doing. Okay? Now, what about detoxing? You got any apple cider vinegar at home? Yep, yep, yep. Got some cinnamon? Yep. Got some lemon juice and some cayenne pepper? You are good to go. Here's the ingredient, glass of warm hot water. It's in your pack there, don't worry, I gave it to you. It's okay though. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Joe. Apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, ground ginger. Now, if you're like me, you skip this, take the bottle of, white, of uh, apple cider vinegar and dip it back and good to go, right? I saw Grant do the other day. I'm like, yeah, that's my boy, right? <laughs> but you can literally make this up. It's in your pack. What I didn't put there, but I, I recommend using this drink three times a day for tw 20 minutes before meals for two weeks. Then having it one time a day before breakfast or lunch. That's your detox plan. What can I do on a daily basis to get this junk out of me that's simple and easy? Simple one, get a, get a shot glass, pour an apple cider vinegar, tip it back, 
Start with that. Well, I hate that. Fine, then put this in there. Yes, the cinnamon has good healing properties. The cayenne pepper does too. The ground ginger, the lemon juice, all that's good stuff for you. Some local honey if you want to. Make that as your tea, sip on it. You're detoxing. You're moving towards green grass zone. It will it take time? Yeah. Is it magic? No. Is it healing you? Absolutely one day at a time. Yes? What about uh, this grating the ginger? You can grate it in there, yeah. Yeah, you can cut it into a chunk, you can grate it. You have to peel it first if you want to, and then you can grate it up. Okay? I learned that last night. <laughs> Our family's used fructose for years. It's not on your list, so it, it's not a good thing. Depends on who makes it. It's sugar from yeah. fruit. Yeah. It's still sugar, though. So you could use fructose if it's natural, organic made. Just check the ingredients on it. Because man made tries to make it and tries to slip something in there, right? It's like Truvia, Steve, be careful. It's got to be pure Stevia. Not Truvia, because you read it, it has maltodextrin. It has a man made product in there. So just be careful, okay? And if you are concerned about it, when you come in on Saturdays to get tested, bring all that food stuff with you, and we'll muscle test you and see what your body likes and doesn't like, okay? Your body doesn't lie. And again, what's eating clean then? Let's finish this up and go home. Eating clean is what we call the healing diet that we've been using for years. You can call it paleo, you can call it Atkins, you can call it Mediterranean, but literally it's eating food the way God made it in a proportion that your body can use and take you to a green grass zone. That's what food is. G food should take you to the green grass zone, okay? So, what does it do for you? It decreases inflammation. Do we need that, yes or yes? Yeah. So you can't stop taking ibuprofen, right? It's your, it, your body is better able to heal from any disease and prevent future diseases from forming. Why? Because you're eating food now, taking to a green grass zone. In a green grass zone, your body heals from any disease and prevents future diseases from forming. Isn't that good news? Say yes or yes. 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 This is exactly why anti-inflammatory foods, vegetables, fruit, nuts, seeds, ancient grains, healthy fats, and clean protein are emphasized in any clean eating meal plan. It takes you to the green grass zone. It will help lower, oh, I want to be on an alkaline diet, alkaline pH, acidity. When you eat the way God designed it and you eat green grass food, it, it balances your, alkal, your acidity and your alkalinity, right? Why did the fish die? The water got acidic. Um, why do I grow things in this brown grass zone? Because you are acidic, your body's acidic. You're making disease because your environment's acidic. So you got to get your body into an alkaline zone, a green grass zone, therefore you have healing. Your body's making health, not making disease, okay? So your body, get your body, make your body less alkaline than it likes to be. All diseases thrive in an acidic environment. It's ideal for protecting your body from the effects of aging and a poor lifestyle. Green grass zone. The healing diet helps balance your blood sugar levels. Again, it's tied to many hormonal problems. Acne, infertility, menopause, hot flashes, right? You can help manage your weight with a clean eating by avoiding refined carbohydrates and sugary foods. The healing diet will remove toxins. I want to detox. Yes. We're going to call it lifestyle. It's going to have a detoxing effect. A, because you're going to stop putting that stuff in you, on you, and around you. and start finding other things. You're going to make life your beach because every choice is not going to be a life-giving, grass, green grass-making choice. Does that make sense? It's one day at a time. It can get boring, but it's one day at a time, okay? So, again, your healing diet, you'll get... You'll get your food supply is processed right now. It's stripped of natural vitamins. Why are you deficient in certain vitamins? Because the toxins and the things you're doing, not only do they make you toxic, but they strip you of what you do need to make any chance of making green grass again. Does that make sense? The medication doesn't just make you sicker, but it robs you of any chance of trying to go naturally to a green grass zone. So you become deficient in B vitamins, D3, Parkinson's, ADHD, um, Parkinson's, autism, dementia, Alzheimer's is usually because your glutathione levels are gone. Why? Because of the toxins you had put in your body over the last 10, 20, 30 years. You should see me teach about, okay, real quick. Captain America has a shield. If he goes into fight with a shield, he usually wins, right? Green grass zone means shields up, you're protected. Dead, if, he, if he goes to war without his shield, he forgets it at home, what's going to happen to him? Shield down, right? 
So all this stuff I'm talking about not to use, when you use it, it takes your shield, your defense mechanism away. You are now succumbing to all the crappuccinos and all the dog poop that's out there. <laughs> Make sense? Your shield's down. Why should I not have the Skittles? Because it makes your shield go down. Why should, it, why should I not get a low-fat low, low diet? It makes your shield go down. Why should I change my products to beauty counter? Because what you're using now is making your shield go down, put you in a brown grass zone, and now you're making the disease process you swear you'd never get. And you may be Mr. and Mrs. Organic. You may be Mr. and Mrs. Aerobics and Zumba. But guess what? Your body doesn't care. It's toxic. It's sick. It's shutting you down. So what are you going to do? You're going to switch up your fats, focus on high quality animal products, meaning animals green grass fed. You're going to get rid of sugar. You're going to make your grains whole. Again, basically, means eating food that's closer to their natural state <coughs> as possible. Okay? It's part of the eating plan. As you do this, one day at a time, you'll decrease inflammation, help lower acidity, alkalize your body, better control blood sugar levels, remove toxins, artificial ingredients, and provide optimum nutrients. Plant-based fresh foods adequate amounts of good protein, healthy fats. And then this is good for anybody dealing with allergies, heart disease, or cardiovascular issues, arthritis, digestive dysfunction, insomnia, depression, anxiety, basically all forms of chronic disease. Brown grass zone. See how I, comp I put all that together? So you have this in your handout. When should you buy organic? Whenever you're going to eat the peel. So they call this the dirty dozen because... A, you have to eat the peel, the outside, and they spray that with chemicals. <coughs> so these are the 12, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> dirty dozen. So strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, peaches, pears, cherries, grapes, celery, tomatoes, sweet bell peppers, and potatoes. Make sure you buy organic when you buy those. Make sure you check the cherries. They'll say five bucks a pound, but they'll put them in a four pound container. You look at your receipt and go, I paid 20 bucks for cherries because they said five bucks a pound, but you bought a four pound container. Just word of the wise, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> and then here's the clean 15. Again, these are the ones I won't worry so much of whether they're organic or not. Um, I'd like them to be organic, but again, they're not as uh, genetically modified or sprayed with as many chemicals. Sweet corn, again, it's got to be organic. Not, I mean, I'd rather hit most corn is, is genetically modified. But avocados, pineapples, sweet peas, onions, cabbage, papayas, asparagus, mangoes, kiwi, honeydew, eggplant, cantaloupe, cauliflower, and grapefruit. Again, it's in your pack. These are your friend. Um, go from there. So this is what healing diet food looks like. You make your power smoothies in the morning or at snacks. You have your organically raised bacon, fresh eggs, tomatoes, right? This looks like food, right? This is food, lunch food. This is food. That's food. That's food. That's food. And that's food. So again, 30 days. You have this in your pack. Where do you start? Where do you start going towards green grass? First of all, you're here. Give yourself a hand for being here. That, I mean, you know, it's almost 5 o'clock, we're almost done. <laughs> so for the next 30 days, how about for the next day? How about for the next week? If you want to change. If you don't want to change, at least now you know when you're ready to change. Here it is. Some of you have been through a lot. Loved ones have died. Your dog died. Your cat died. Relationships have fallen apart. You're not ready. You just need to take a nap and rest. And that's okay. We'll rest with you. But when you are ready, let's get rid of bread, rice, and pasta for 30 days, for a week. Just cut it out. No more bread. Now, you know you need to get rid of bread if you just, that little voice just said, is he crazy? Okay? <laughs> pasta. Sugar or sweeteners. Right? We have lots of desserts that are, that, are, that are friendly. Healing diet you can make at home. Okay? We have lots of desserts. We have recipe nights. We're having one coming up in May. Non-organic dairy. Raw dairy is your best but non-organic, get rid of. Alcohol, soda, and juices. Artificial ingredients and in processed foods. I'm not telling you to stop eating. 
I'm telling you, stop eating this, okay? What can you eat then? Well, again, you have this in your packet. You can drink water. You have your flat tummy water recipe now, right? Okay, good. Lemon, lime, organic hot tea. You have breakfast ideas there, what you have for breakfast. You have lunch ideas what to eat. You have dinner ideas what to eat. And you have snack ideas what to eat. And right now, as you're detoxing and going towards green grass, eat until you're full. Enjoy it. It's called food. You'll like it, okay? But also, in a nutshell, remove high fructose corn syrup from your life. Man-made sugars, pink, blue, yellow packs, corporate meats injected with antibiotics, pasteurized dairy, with well, yogurt, cheese, and milk. You can find raw versions of it in the store. Gluten with rice, wheat, oats, corn, barley, genetically modified foods, medication, antibiotics, and nerve stress caused by bad posture. Let's get rid of that. Let's detox from that. Let's put in organic veggies, natural raised grass-fed meats from corner post, good fats, bone broth, kefir, raw dairy, adjustments once a week, spine brushing, daily short but intense movements. Work out with us on Saturdays at 8.30. Work out with us. And then detox and repair, find out what nutrition you need. Do you need any vitamins? Do you need nutrition to help your brain get the junk out of your body? You know, we went over that. Again, if we do this, we'll put in unnecessary suffering. Because again, this is your nerve system as I wrap this up. Guess where all those toxins attack first when you put them on your skin in your body? Your nerve system. It attacks the brain and spinal cord first. That's why the ingredients in vaccines, now one in 34 boys, are autistic. Because when you inject that into the body, it attacks the brain and nerve system, and now these little boys have Alzheimer's. So when, that's why when you put these toxins in your body, the low-fat diets, the things you can't pronounce, the man-made stuff, what it attacks first is the nerve system, and that's how it has access to your gut, to your heart, to your joints, to inflammation. When I drink a Red Bull, it doesn't automatically just go to my elbow and give me elbow pain. It goes to my nerve system, it goes to my body, and the toxins attack the brain system. So therefore, when we look at your spine, we want to see normal. We want to see good curves. We don't want to see any kinks on the hose so you can be green grass. But if you have this with your posture and then your lifestyle is making brown grass, now you're setting yourself up for dead grass. Because over time, then you start developing what's called this nursing home posture, right? This hump on your back and you look old. But it's all from the spine and nerve system. So therefore, what's the one test you can do to find out where you're at first is an x-ray of your nerve system because it controls everything. The first test we check is your posture. Is there any interference? Is there any kinks in the hose on your nerve system? We take the x-ray, we find out where it's at, we start adjusting your spine, I give you home exercises. See, when you're doing your wobble chair exercises, wearing your head weights, laying on your rolls and doing your traction at home, you're not getting rid of back pain, you're moving your life towards the green grass zone. You're turning on the energy system, the healing power inside your body that, that defeats cancer, that lives you at your full potential. Therefore, your need for medication shots and surgery go away. Yeah, by doing this little silly thing, you're turning all that on. Isn't that crazy? So your nerve system is the first thing we check with an x-ray to find out whether you're in the brown grass zone or the green grass zone, or why you're in the dead grass zone. Feeling fine doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what zone you're in. You could be in the dead grass zone and feel fine. 80% of women diagnosed with breast cancer never had any symptoms. Well, how can they make breast cancer when they're feeling fine? It's because they're in the brown grass, dead grass zone, and they don't even know it. So just like Christopher Reeves, what did he break? His spine, where did he go? The dead grass zone. How about Bob Harper? Was he eating clean? Was he detoxing? He might have been drinking apple cider vinegar every day. He might be on really good vitamins. He's got really cool tattoos. But when you action speak louder than words, and when a man looking like this, eating healthy and working out, has a heart attack, I know immediately he's in the brown grass zone. And what's the one test he sh I'd love for him to have is an x-ray of his spine to make sure the nerve supply going to his heart gets better so that he doesn't have another heart attack, right? That's why 
Again, which zone are you living in? That's the last question I ask you. Which, question, which zone is your children living in? What, what, what zone is your family living in? What zone do you want to be in? Green grass or brown grass? How do we know? We simply do an x-ray of your spine. And we figure out how to correct it. And then we go over the x-rays with you, see if you're in a green grass zone or a brown grass zone. Okay? It's $99 for one person, $149 for the whole family. Sign up today, and we'll get you plugged in, we'll get you taken care of to find out what zone you're at. That's the first step. The first step to green grass is your nerve system. The first step of moving this direction is your nerve system. Because if it was just eating and detoxing and exercising, then he would not have a heart attack. So, and that's why your health is our mission. So, if you have any questions, we'll ask them now. Check this out on Facebook Live. God bless you all. I love you. Thanks for coming. Amen. Amen.